Hello Sagittarius and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks, which is from the 27th of December 2021 to the 10th of January 22. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time, to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle and this is the two penny oracle that I'll be using today to draw a couple of cards from just to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom does the mysterious oracle have for Sagittarius for the 27th of December to the 10th of January. What messages are here for Sagittarius for the next two weeks? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? you get. Acquisitiveness. Oh, acquisitiveness. <laughs> Sorry, acquisitiveness. It's not being, it's not being quizzy, but it's, it's uh, you know, gaining things, owning things, acquiring things. And, and here it's depicted in nice, shiny things. And then you've got destructiveness. Oh dear. Okay, so yeah, so maybe it's, you may need to tear something down um, in order to rebuild, to um, to regain. So you've got acquisition and destruction. So um, if we look at the little animals here, you've got, you know, the squirrel and the um, crow. It's, you know, those, or magpie, it's, it's, this is a crow. But it's, you know, maybe it sort of does sort of indicate... Um, the, the acquisition of, of little trinkets, of little things that um, sort of are attractive to you rather than of things that are necessary. That's just, you know, an interesting take on that. Um, so maybe it's sort of... Maybe sort of in sort of talking about or speaking to too much acquisition, and um, then you've got destructiveness. So as I say, you may need to actively break something down in order to rebuild, but it may simply be a warning that you know you, you need to look at whether your your words or your actions are dis destructive in any way or sort of. Um, unproductive or you know harmful rather than um, um, constructive you know you get constructive criticism and then you just get um, nastiness so you know it's sort of two questions here um, what you're gaining what you're looking to acquire is it something you need or is it something you want or is it something you want to need and then is, are your words or your actions constructive um, or are they, you know, unkind? But it could also simply imply needing to, to rip down something in order to make it better, to redo it better. But let's look and um, see how the rest of the reading goes. So let's look at what's on the cards for you to, to get some more insight into that message. So what's on the cards for Sagittarius for the 27th of December to the 10th of January? What messages are here for Sagittarius for the next two weeks? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? So this is the five cent tarot. 
um, that I'm using today to put down an eight card spread for you Sagittarius. With the first, oh gosh, let's not throw the cards around. With the first two cards depicting you in your current situation, the second two cards highlighting the challenges you may face at this time, with the following two cards offering you some guidance from divine energies as you move towards the final two cards, which may reveal your potential outcome to this situation. It certainly shows the energies you'll be moving towards. So let's see what you get. King of buttons, nice and stable there. That's all about um, acquisition. And then death, transition. And then you get the two of cups and the eight of buttons as your challenge. So actually your challenge is quite positive really. And then you've got the page of matches and the world as your guidance. And you move towards the five of needles and the three of buttons. This is certainly about building something up actually. Oh, and you've got the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. Underlining everything is this um, acquired contentment and joy. And this is sort of... This is a wish fulfilled, a wish come true, um, gaining, you know, it's having more than enough and being appreciative of that. And this is, this um, contentment is due to your own efforts, something you've built up yourself. It's actually very positive. Let's put him there and let's move, let's just move these there for now. So they're out the way. So you start here, um, well, the King of Pentic Buttons, this is someone with good business acumen who's sort of built up an, like a bit of an empire for himself, but it's very, on, very much on a material level. So it's about having acquired the, everything you need to bring you comfort and um, a sense of stability and value to your life, security, and being in a position to um, generously um, support those in, in your caress. But it's sort of linked here, you know, you're at a time of change, and you've got two cards that sort of denote that. The death card's not about endings alone it's also about the change that those endings bring so perhaps you've reached a, a, a point and now it's time to um, begin a new journey so that um, that acquisition sort of throws you onto a new path as it were so it's being able to ex you sort of like at a point where you need to accept something has run its course and it's time to come to an end and that in itself is quite a challenging card. That's about sort of being able to accept the endings, the, 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 the you know, the, the finishing of something and being willing to embrace the change that that brings. Um, your actual challenges here is, is sort of about I get a sense of like with the two of cups it's often about partnerships to you the union of two opposing or two different energies or people so it often depicts them you know two people coming together but as a challenge and looking at all the rest of the cards I think it's almost about um, your challenge is to incorporate what you've attained um, with what you need to begin so it's sort of like accepting it's sort of like infusing or, or bringing together your accomplishments and this new beginning so it's stepping out of a role of authority and um, accomplishment to being the, new, the beginner again the, the little um, student again and once again having to master new skills. The Eight of Buttons is about mastering new skills. It's the apprentice card. So it's almost like if you're here, 
the king of buttons, having accomplished and manifested a situation or position for yourself that is now coming to an end, you need to incorporate all that you've learned and become into a new learning phase and become the apprentice, the student once more. And that's the challenge. And your guidance even says, accept this challenge as in a sense with a sense of adventure and um, know that this is something, this ending, the beginning it brings is something that is exciting and um, should be, you know, so it may um, tap into your creativity, sort of reignite that sense of passion for the world and exploration and it, that sense of adventure. And if you're willing to work with this, this is this new beginning is something that can bring you to, once again to a completion, to fruition, um, to success, which you've got here in the world card and sort of says, suggests that you know if if something's come to an end it's finishing it's because it's completed and it's now time to step into a new role into a new stage and that is through learning and then you know fitting very nicely with your destructiveness card you've got the five of needles is where you're going to first of all there's strife and and um, perhaps disagreement and um, a sense of someone overpowering others in their desire to fulfill their own needs or you know so it's about being careful not to step over others and so on your path to success with all this authority you have don't be wary of um, upsetting others or um, breaking up friendships or partnerships um, through a desire to get to where you want to. So it's, you know, a calling to use any wisdom you've gained in your, you know, um, attainment um, and tread carefully towards what you're wanting. You need to collaborate um, with others in a compassionate and... Um, you know, thoughtful way, because you do move towards mastering this new skill. So, um, and then you, you know, you get the nine of cups, which is that, that sense of attainment, but there's almost like a warning here in, you know, acquiring, don't rush um, to acquire, to recapture that completion, that sense of um, attainment. You need to perhaps um, let go of that mastery that because you're needing to learn again uh, and um, the, the new role is a learning one definitely but it does lead to mastery but through good communication and a willingness to to collaborate on equal levels with others rather than dominating them that's the word I was looking for you know so you, you need to be aware of being overly dominant because if you are then you sort of what happens is you 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 alienate people who could be um you know close and harmoniously connected to you yeah so in a nutshell there you sort of from a position of authority and um, acquisition, something that sort of ends now and, and you're embracing or you're being called to embrace a new role of learning a different skill, stepping into a new role, um, you know, this, at the same time of being appreciative and um, happy about the success and, and the completion of something it's time to step into a new role and that's stepping down a little bit and not being overly dominant but being able to collaborate with others in order to re-find 
uh, a new sense of accomplishment and attainment and happiness again. So it's, it's, very, it's a very positive reading, just simply with the warning of being destructive in your progress. So there you have it, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonated with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. And then have a good two weeks and God bless you till we meet again.